We have a freshman who's failing every course. We need your help. I don't know why we should even bother helping this guy. I don't think he even cares. Helping this guy brings in my paycheck every week. Even if it is on Barry pay, that's what I'm going to do. Welcome to the 50th annual World Word Search Championship. With us today are 10 of the best word finders on the planet. Among them are two bitter rivals. They've met in this arena before. They're Ellen Ringmuller and Brad Odenlick. Jill, tell us about these two favored participants. Well, Jack, Ellen Ringmuller has been striving to be the best word search finder in the world for the past five years. She would have won last year if it hadn't been for that bitter, disappointing final round when she just couldn't find the word sugar. Brad just narrowly squeezed by when he found his final word a tenth of a second before Ellen. We talked with Brad before the competition and this is what he said. Yeah, I feel pretty confident. I mean, with everyone saying I'm the best, pressure's really on. I'm excited though, <laughs> yeah. When asked about Ellen, he replied, Oh, Ellen? I don't know. I think she's still mad about last year, but you know, you've got to go on. Who knows, maybe she has a chance of winning this year. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> we also spoke with Ellen before she went to the prep room. This is her response to that clip. What a jerk! Well, listen, you tell Brad I'm ready for him this year. If he wants a piece of me, bring it on. And we're just about ready to get started. The participants are now filing in the room and opening their packets. Keep in mind that none of the participants here have ever seen these word searches before, and uh-oh. What seems to be the problem, Jack? Well, Jill, it seems that the sponsors of this year's championship have placed Brad and Ellen together. I sure hope we don't have an outburst like last year. I think everyone here is thinking the same thing. What's that? Sabotage. And it's time to begin. The participants are now opening their packets and beginning their search. Brad and Ellen are both looking the puzzle over to try and find any... Oh! Brad's already circling. He started circling at a P and is continuing over an A, then an R, a T, and a... Oh, he stopped! Oh, he started again! It appeared he was going to circle the word party, but stopped. But he's continuing to circle. He's continued the circle to an I, an E, and an S. He was right in thinking the word party, but has instead found the word parties, which is, of course, the plural form. Let's look at Ellen. She's found the word boats and is working on the word teddy bear. She's really racking up the points here. And back to Brad. After parties, he's gone on to find seesaw and incomprehensible. Ellen has located top and hat. Brad is just in the lead with elementary while Ellen is falling short with geology. It appears the rest of the contestants are still stuck on their third and fourth words. And it seems Ellen's now pulling ahead. She's found president and genealogy. Oh, it, it seems Brad is stuck. He can't seem to find anything. Meanwhile, Ellen's racing ahead. Brad, it seems, has gone completely blank. Ellen is circling furiously. In fact, I believe she just circled the word furiously. And Brad's falling behind. He's in last place now as other participants are even getting ahead. Jill, we're seeing the downfall of one of the greatest word finders we've ever seen. Oh, the horror of it all. To come all this way to blank out. And he's, he's about to do something. Is he going to cheat off Ellen? No, he's, he's going for a pencil. He's taking her pencil and he, he's breaking Ellen's pencil. Ellen is retaliating by ripping his sheet. Oh no, they're ruining it. This is truly a dark day in the history of word searches. I just can't watch anymore.
name again? Do you think I could have one of those? Sure. Why don't you just take the whole pack? Thanks, I really appreciate it. I've been meaning to quit anyway. Hmm. That was odd. Oh well, free cigarettes. I hope you're not pregnant. And what business is that of yours? Well, exactly not any of my business, but if you're pregnant, you shouldn't be smoking. It causes birth defects. Well, I'm not, so you can rest easy. You know, actually, you shouldn't be smoking at all. Why are you bothering me? What What did I do to you? Basically, I work for the government. Somebody, don't ask me who, but somebody decided that the little thing on the side of the cigarette pack was not enough. And so now, they've hired me to accompany a pack of cigarettes so that every time you light up a cigarette, I go around and tell you how bad it is. All right, I'll buy it. It's crazy, but I'll buy it. Especially since I'm done with this cigarette. I'm going inside. I'll see you later, fruitcake. So is this like an oral fixation or just a pathetic attempt to look cool? You know, I could hurt you pretty badly. I don't think so. Hurting me is a fellow offense, and you wouldn't last one minute to slammer, my friend. <laughs> so how did that date go? Did you guys have a lot of fun? <laughs> oh yeah, it was great. Oh, tell me about it. Interesting, I actually didn't fall asleep in the restaurant until dessert. Oh, oh that's pretty bad. I hate it when that happens. Oh, nasty. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I know. Hey, Angelica, look. Isn't that Mark, that guy that keeps on following you everywhere? Oh my gosh. Hide oh, me. hide me. Fast. Oh my gosh. He's so oh, nasty. he's such a he's loser. Just, you guys, he thinks he, we're dating. Oh my you gosh. No. Oh. He follows me everywhere. Like a stalker? Yeah. Oh, it's really I'm creepy. sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, I think he's talking. Oh my god, he's heading this way. Oh. No one's talking about Oh my gosh. Angelica! Hey, hey, Angelica. How's it going? How's it going? I knew you'd be here, so I, I, I thought I'd drop by here. Angelica? How thoughtful. Yeah, I, I thought so. Hey, hey, what are you doing Friday? Because, you know, if you weren't busy, I thought, you know, we Mark, probably... Mark, we're not going out. We aren't going out, and we never will go well, out, okay? I, okay? I, I thought we had something special. You know, we're going to last... Friday. Mark, we're not going out. Do you understand? Wait. I know that we have trouble communicating with each other sometimes, but if we can work things out, please, you can't leave me. Uh, please. Mark, you better just leave, okay? Is it me? If it's me, please, I can change, I'll change, I'll change for you. Mark, just go! You're go. playing games. You're playing games. Stop playing your games. I can see right through them. I know that there's someone else. Hey, Angelica, Angelica, we're through. Do you hear me? Yeah, no, 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 we're through. <laughs> we're through. This creeps me out. Oh my gosh. Just no, no. Loser. Anyways, loser. let's forget about that. Let's not talk yeah, about I agree. Okay, just mm -hmm. that new guy, Brad. Brad. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is oh my gosh. Gosh. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Give me some. That's uh, he has like a cracker boy. That's what I got to say. He's a cracker boy all the way. You know what I mean by a cracker boy? He can eat. 
practice my bet anything. <laughs> <laughs> 